Beer City is getting ready for its only German beer festival. And here to talk more about it, Oktoberfest Grand Rapids is William Johnson. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Well, I love this prop that you brought with you. Tell us a little bit about what it is. This is a 12 foot long wooden Elphorn uh, made of Norwegian spruce, and I'm a member of the Elphorn group that will be performing uh, this uh, instrument at the Oktoberfest, Elphorn group, Elphorn group, Elpentrom. Wow. So there's other people that will have instruments like this. Absolutely. And you'll be playing different songs. And yep. OK, everybody gets together. Tell us a little bit about what people can expect when they do go there other than this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we are going to be open on Friday and Saturday down at uh, up at Riverside Park. We mm -hmm. open at uh, about uh, we open at three o'clock on Friday and at noon on Saturday free to the public. We'll have bounce houses for the kids. We're going to have kids games. We're going to have games for the adults, okay. including this year, a cornhole cornhole tournament on Friday, stein holding contests. We'll have lots of music, lots of beer, some really great food. This is the only German beer fest in Grand Rapids. It's going to be very exciting. Great turnout, usually. Oh, last year we, we had record turnout last year, the biggest we've ever had, and we're expecting the same thing this year. Right, because the weather's going to be great. So you have some rare beers on tap and a new system for payment this year. Tell us a little bit about what the beer is, first of all, that people can expect when they go there. I mean, we're beer city. We have to know what to expect, right? Absolutely. We try and get the best German beers. We've already got uh, agreements to get uh, Hofbräuhaus and Erdinger Hefeweizen shipped in, and we often bring in others on tap, and we have lots on bottles. And we also bring in some great German wines, too, for those people that enjoy wines as well. OK, and there's a different payment system? Yes, there is. Okay. This year, so what we do is, um, instead of doing total tokens like we have in years past, you can purchase tickets, $6 per ticket. You can buy them online if you want to skip the line at the, uh, at the Oktoberfest. And then it's $4 for the wristband that we identify your, that we make sure you're uh, the, of age. Sure. And so you also have a lot of food there. Tell us about what people can eat. Absolutely. We're going to have uh, Dokels, which is a local uh, uh, company here in Grand Rapids. Uh, does a lot of the entrees, the Wiener schnitzels and the such. Village Baker from Spring Lake mm -hmm. is bringing the pretzels and they are the best. We have some other vendors as well for the food. Those pretzels are amazing. Yes, fantastic. So tell us a little bit more about what we can do as far as games are concerned. You mentioned a couple of them. What yep. are the, uh, uh, the kids are going to have a bounce house, but the adults again? Well, the adults, there's going to be a stein holding contest. Okay. So you can join the women's stein holding <laughs> contest. Come on down. Free to enter. You might win. You never know. Never and know. women and men's both on Friday and Saturday, cornhole on Friday. And of course, the ever present uh, wiener dog races, the dock sound races at one o'clock on Saturday, free to enter. Bring, a, bring your little wiener dogs down. It's fun. On, bring the family down to watch that. That's There's nothing fun. more fun than watching those little wiener dogs run. <laughs> the dachshund races. Okay. William Johnson, thank you so much for joining us. We'll have more on our website, of course, as well. Thank you.